What's up, dudes? I'm Mitchell Wyatt, Sounds Underground Studio, and it is mother freaking New Gear Day. Today, we're going to be checking out the Redco 96 point TT DB25 Patch Bay. <laughs> It has a couple channels here for labels. All your normaling switches and DB25 connectors in the back with some little slots here you can organize your cabling. So I used to use this Behringer patch bay, but it got to be kind of a kind of a nightmare as I added more channels of IO because you know once once this thing is in the rack I mean you've got dedicated quarter inch cables um, on every channel in the back and and so anytime I would add you know equipment um, you know even though I was using snakes it just became kind of a hassle um, to uh, to get that set up so so I'm changing everything over to to the DB25 connections and um, you know, that way I won't have to really get behind there and, and fuss around with it too much. This isn't meant to be a, a comprehensive tutorial about how patch bays work. There's a ton of information out there on YouTube already. I'm not really going to go into it, but for a crash course, um, you know, the signal flows down. So from this point to this point, uh, and there's different ways of managing that called you can non-normal it, half-normal it, or fully normaled. Uh, this patch bay comes shipped. Every channel is half-normaled. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't use molts all that often, um, r really at all. So I'm going to change all these channels to be fully normaled. And I'm going to show you how, that, how that's done, because it's a little confusing. Um, but I think i got to figure it out. All right, here's a close-up of the uh, top panel of the patch bay. And the way this works, as you can see from this view, uh, you know, each, each bank of eight has, uh, has these plastic switches. And from this side, uh, from the front of the patch bay, uh, these, these two back switches are gonna be your grounding. So everything is set by default, this, setting right here so you can see you got the switch covering two pins and then you've got an open pin which means they all share a common ground and in most home studio setups that's going to be perfectly sufficient and proper if you were doing like a live recording where you got a front of house system a stage system um, or maybe even a truck you know multiple sources of ground that would be maybe a scenario where this would be useful but for what we're doing, this is totally fine. Second, you've got your normaling switches, which are going to be the switches closest to the front of the panel. And they are shipped by default in this setting right here, half normaled. So you've got your plastic, uh, almost like a jumper switch covering up two pins, and then you've got a an open exposed pin. So if I want to set that to fully normaled, I would just move that. So this is channel seven. Move it over two notches. And then that is full normaled. If I wanted to set it to half normaled, say channel eight, I would just put this in the middle position there where it's got a gold connector pin on each side. So, like I said before, I'm gonna set all these to fully normaled because I don't F around with half normaled. I just don't find it all that useful. At least not for what I do. So, so there we go. Everything on channels one through eight is set to 
normal or full normaled, and they all share a common ground. I went with the Red Co Patch Bay because it's for the main reason it's five hundred dollars cheaper than the Switchcraft Patch Bay, and really the only functionality difference you're getting is the Switchcraft has the the normaling switches on the front of the panel, which are convenient because you don't have to take your patch bay out of the rack to make changes. But I don't think that's worth five hundred dollars. And from what I can tell, this is a fantastic solidly built patch bay. I got it from vintageking.com. You can also get it from redco.com. If you get it from vintageking.com, it um you'll get free shipping on it. So uh that's why I went with Vintage King over Redco. So anyway, thanks for joining. Hopefully that's been informative. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you.